So today we take a shot at the King Arms Blazer R93 sniper rifle and oh my, it's a pretty one. The Blazer R93 sniper rifle is possibly my favourite sniper rifle in the world. It's designed in Germany, it's clean, it's sleek, and it's, well, I mean, look at it. It's also a film favourite too, featuring in things like Hitman, The Dark Knight, Inception, and I love it even more in Firefly. Now, King Arms have done a pretty decent job with their fully licensed replica, although it doesn't have the fluted barrel like the real steel counterpart does, and it also doesn't come with the scope. It does, however, feature the same straight pull cocking mechanism as opposed to the L96 style lift, pull, push, and down. This is just pull, push, fire. Externally, the body is made of a polymer with a metal frame underneath, making it very lightweight but extremely sturdy. The finish has a really nice texture to it, giving it a little bit of individuality on the field. It also has a really comfortable angled grip, just making it that much easier to pull the trigger. The outer barrel is quite a hefty metal, although not fluted, like I mentioned earlier, and connected to the body using three large Allen screws underneath. The Blazer also features an adjustable cheek rest and shoulder rest, making it even more comfortable for the sniper. However, if you do raise the cheek rest too high, it will stop the cocking lever from being able to retract the whole way. This is a problem they probably didn't foresee. Isn't a huge issue because you can still get the cheek rest quite high, but just something to bear in mind. We also have a drop down adjustable bipod at the rear of the gun, meaning that if you are using a bipod at the front, you can balance it out and strain it out and take all of the tension off of your shoulders and off of your arms, making it much more comfortable in the long run. The Blazer does come with a plastic flash hider. It's, I mean, it's okay, it does the job. Personally, I would rather have a shorter outer barrel and a suppressor on the end, just to give it that real Hitman look. And then on the top, as you can see, it comes with a scope rail mount. It only has six slats, meaning that you can only place the scope in three positions, which for me is kind of limiting. It's fine, but I would have loved to have an extra option to maybe have a bit more rail space and add a camera. As I said earlier, you can have a bipod with it, but it uses a Harris style mount and I don't have a Harris style bipod, so you can't see it, but it can do it. The cocking lever is made of a sturdy metal and actually it has a feature that not many do, which is a quick bolt release. To do that, ejects the 50 round magazine, hold down a button at the front of the trigger guard, pull back and the bolt just releases. To put it back in, there is a button at the back that you have to push up and slide it all the way back in. The magazine holds 50 rounds. It is plastic, it is light, it actually rattles around when it's seated into the loading chamber. It's something that I think does let the externals down, but 50 round capacity, not bad. The final thing to mention on the externals of the gun is the safety, which can be found just behind the bolt lever. Pull it back to set it on safe, push it forward to let the trigger fire again. Internally, there is a 490 millimeter inner barrel, which is an AEG style, making it like easily upgradable to like Madball or Prometheus. Just something that's a bit better than stock. Slight issue with the internals in the cylinder, they're all plastic, meaning that if you upgraded the spring, they probably wouldn't be able to handle it. Not that that's an issue in the UK where 500 feet per second is the limit. So overall, I think the gun looks gorgeous. I think it feels really comfortable and it has some features that are really, really strong in the airsoft market. However, it is one of those designs that some people are just gonna hate and some people are gonna love. For example, the straight pull cocking mechanism. Some people might really prefer the L96 lift, pull, push, down. And that's fine, that's personal preference. But is it worth the price? Well, at an average of £200 in the UK, it is a little bit pricier than some of the airsoft sniper rifles on the market. However, having said that, the build quality kind of does it for me. I have had some that are just not, you know, not fantastic. They do the job, whereas this does the job and it looks good doing it too. So there we go. That is my review of the King Arms Blazer R93 sniper rifle, which is my favorite in the world. Did, did, did I mention that? Did I mention that I really like it? 
because because I really do. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, please check out that one there and go back and check out some of my other videos, airsoft vlogs, you know, the lot of them. Don't forget to hit like, please subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what? I'll see you next week. Take it easy.